Yo guys, welcome to another video where we are exploring the Jolly Tribe and Melody House strategy as to how to get the most value out of both of them. Now for this we are gonna start in Linnet City as this is typically your first encounter with the Jolly Tribe. And in case you don't know, there's an event when you go here for the first time where you have the girl Meowth's ID and you get several options. In fact, you always want to pick forget it, it's none of my business. Why? The first option lowers her opinion of you, as such the Jolie tribe will not like you as much. The third option will do the same thing. The second option can kill you, or if it does not kill you, will lower your max HP and give you 25 toxicology, which are all bad. As such, you always want to click forget it, it's none of my business. However, if you want to create a small buffer, and by the way it's the same up here, small buffer for your relation with the Jolly Tribe, one thing you can do is the fight trick. Like you can go to this location, start a manual battle, walk through, walk through, retreat from the battle. Now you are inside this courtyard and you can actually interact with her. However, her normal conversation will not happen. The only real access you have is to gift her some items. And by doing so, you can see Jolie Tribe increases by 16 points, another 4 points. You can slightly increase your opinion with the Jolie Tribe. There you go, we're now 20. Now next up, the next typical step is to go to the abandoned courtyard. Although you could, obviously, and by the way, you'd still get this cutscene because you never triggered it. You could still do the puzzle in Linen City, the Maiden puzzle to increase your relation with the Maiden House or the Melody House, wherever, but we are not gonna bother. Okay, guys, so we are now in the southwest area and we can head to the deserted courtyard. Now, here you will get the prompt whether you wanna help one of the parties or neither. In this case, we pick neither as we want to get benefits from both parties. If you align yourself with one of them, you lock yourself out of the other. So we pick the last option, which means we fight against all of them, and we're just gonna fast forward this battle. Okay, so we fought against them. Now you can see that, in this case, we unlock the location about both tribes, yet we do not decrease the relationship. And that's why you pick the last option. Even though it seems somewhat cruel, but we don't care in this case. Now first I'd advise to head to the Jolly Tribe, do everything you can over here, and then head to the Melody House. Now of course, even if you have positive relation with them, they still will not allow you to enter the premises. So what you simply do is the fight trick, which I've already explained, and well, we can just do that now. Now firstly for the fight trick, you should make sure you don't have a pet in your party as it will interfere with the process. Now what I will personally do is I will use a one dex character at level 80 to showcase this. In this case I only have these passives for my martial tree or my passive tree. So you can see even with this setup you can do it. So we start the battle, in this case we head up. Now what we will use is the windwalker node. So if you attack you get an extra action to move. And while we can just do that I just gotta pick some martial arts which do not hit enemies. And I think, yeah, I can already retreat. That's how easy it is. And in this case, we lose three opinion, I think, with Jolly Tribe, which does not matter. Now, if you roam around here, you can see no one attacks you, and somewhere we are going to find me outside here. Okay, and there she is. We can now interact with her. Interestingly enough, she, uh, our main character will assume her name, even though we have not heard about her name. But you can now do the typical things, which is do poison testing, which is very critical for a more min-maxed approach. In this case, we can, for example, pick the red bug to increase our strength by two while lowering constitution by one. Now we finally know about the name. Now what you typically do right now is you complete all po uh, 10 stacks of poison testing. They increase your toxicology by 10 each and at 100 you can no longer do it. This is also why the plus 25 toxicology option in Lin and Seti is so bad, as it will cost you two poison testings. 
Now after you've done the poison testing you can head into the cave park here to get the poison egg for yourself and Meow Tsai Di, which will grant you poison immunity. Afterward you can bond her and we can head to the Melody House. Okay, so now we are here at the Melody House, of course the same thing will occur, which is they won't let you in. So we do the exact same thing as previously, we do the fight trick, we walk up, use a random move in a different direction, walk up. We can even look at the retreat range and we can now successfully retreat. Now it will have slightly lowered our opinion with Melody House, but it's very marginal. And now you can simply progress the story as usual in which case there will be poison in here. You can now complete the quest line, fulfill the whole quest line, marry those, or rather bond those three girls, and that's it. If you've enjoyed it, share, like, follow. We'll see us next time, hopefully with a new update and actual content. Goodbye.